Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have your yes or no pick a card. I add this video every Monday to help you out with a question that you know you need a simple yes or no answer. And today we have five options, so maybe you have different questions for different cards here, so always trust your intuition. If you're new, my name is Josie, I hope you consider subscribing. All my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my Etsy shops. The crystals in front of you, my own decks have created them much more, all the links will be there. I also have a Patreon account, I do live readings, private readings, there are many ways for you to connect with me, so the links will be on the description. Today we have again five options. So group one, it's the turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Group two, it's the eagle spirit, spirit has your back. Group three, owl spirit, you see clearly now. Group four, is the canary spirit, sing your own song. And group five, with the dove spirit, be peace. Whichever one calls your attention first is most likely the right one, like I always say, but of course you can watch the full video and see which one resonates the most. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be in the description below. Take what is resonating, leave the rest behind, have fun as well. I always set my intentions that their spirit guides will help you to take only what is resonating. And again, group one, turkey spirit, two, ego spirit, three, owl spirit, four, canary spirit, and five, dove spirit. Timestamp always on the first pin the comment and the description below. Thanks for watching. Group one, if you chose the turkey spirit, and again, the keywords here are give with gratitude and grace. So it could be giving, receiving, whatever is the situation, being able to be with a gratitude mind frame. But is this a yes or no? I'm going to add tarot and oracle clarifications. Yes or no for any situation. We have the hanged woman, hanged one, hanged the man. This is the energy of having patience and seeing things from another perspective, trusting the universe. Let's see here. We also have the devil. Capricorn energies. Feeling a bit stuck sometimes. We have the tree of swords. And also one more card. We do have the word. Okay. It really feels like there are different energies here, different opportunities. And they may feel stuck right now in this situation. Spirit guides are asking you to see things from a different perspective. Many times we wanted to manifest, resolve something, and it has to be our way, this way, this time. I feel like Spirit Guides is asking you for patience with the hanged one here. And uh, it may be uh, some kind of delays. With the Three of Swords, I feel like it can be sometimes our Spirit Guides are guiding you in a specific direction and you're still not trusting your heart, your intuition. I feel like there's new cycles, new opportunities. So I do feel like this is no for group one because it really is this energy of, I feel like no or not yet, being able to really trust your intuition because I feel like you're a guy that telling you no, don't go into this direction or not this person, not this job or um, give time to time, this energy here of having to wait in some way. And sometimes we don't want to, but the Spirit Guide is saying we have a, a new cycle, a new direction, a new opportunity. Don't settle for less than you deserve. I always say no is a blessing for you to not rush and do something that you don't like. And with the devil, sometimes we are stuck in negativity, stress, or this could be causing that. Or if you're asking about someone, how they are feeling, could be feeling stuck and stressed. So I feel like other things are affecting this situation too. And it's hard to stay in a gratitude mind frame. And I feel like that's why Spirit is saying, you know, stay with the gratitude here. Um, even when you don't know how to manifest a resolve or find a direction here in the situation. And I feel like your Spirit guides are saying, we are sending directions to help you to find a new cycle, a new beginning, a new way in this situation. So I feel like no or not yet for group one. But let's hear from the Oracle cards too. Anything else you need to know? Okay. Evolve and transform. You see here, evolve and transforming, learning with the situation. It, everything's happening for you, not to you. So it is a reason for a delay or for a no in the situation. Learn from the past as well. And I feel like 
again, it, it can be sometimes with the devil when you're stuck there in a situation. It's holding us back when there's more for you to learn with the past and allow the past to be a stepping stone for you to evolve and grow, not holding you back in any case. Anything else we need to know? Okay, healing road ahead. Okay, so this could be a no because there's a need to allow a healing road and um, maybe there is a need to have a conversation with someone. It could be no for negative questions, but there's still a healing road. And specifically with the Tree of Swords, can be a need to allow healing, trust the heart, allow the heart to heal. Whether this is for um, someone because of not trusting the intuition or not being honest with yourself. Okay, so to manifest the result of this and happiness and contentment could be coming, I feel like, in this new cycle. I feel like the word here for the new cycle for you, for happiness and contentment. And it can be really, really necessary for you to be honest with yourself, whoever's involved there. I feel like your spirit guides could be helping you to just take a new direction for something better for you and to not settle. Because sometimes we really want things done one way when the spirit guides are saying, we know the outcome. We know the best direction for you. And I feel like they are guiding you as well. So that's why take your time. Patience as well. Connect with your spirit guides, your angels. Take time here. Get more information. Really, really trust your heart. And I feel like, no, or not yet. But stay in a gratitude mind frame to really see this happiness and contentment that is on the new cycle here for you. A new direction, a new way. Not be afraid to close any anything that's not serving, no longer serving. Because you can take charge and take back your power from any situation to allow a new cycle. No or not yet, take what is resonating and of course check out the piles if this one is not resonating. I'll leave with this group one. I hope this helps out to resonate in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment and I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the Chris, the CM and the others, decks like this one and so many others, other links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much and as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two, if you chose the eagle spirit, again, the keywords here are spirit has your back. So whatever is the situation, positive and ne negative questions, spirit has your back. Don't forget that. But let's see here on the tarot. I have tarot and oracle cl clarifications. Yes or no for group two. Okay, we do have the page of wands and the king of wands. All this fire energy, fire signs as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius can be you, someone you're dealing with. And I feel like that focus, that energy of the fire. We do have the Wheel of Fortune here. And the Fool. I really see this new cycle for you. This opportunity here with the situation. To manifest or resolve this. I really feel like you have some kind of action to take here. Courage. I feel like your spirit guides are giving you courage. And uh, really the focus, the fire. To take that leap of faith of the Fool. I feel like you have a chance coming. The Wheel of Fortune is a chance. And so for many of you, it could be a chance that is coming again. You know, when you feel like you missed an opportunity in the past or this didn't manifest or resolve for you before and you have a chance now. I do see this as yes for group two for positive, negative questions. But you have a leap of faith here. And for that, you need the courage of the page and the King of Wands to take action. And Page of Wands can be opening those doors for you. And sometimes you don't always have the courage straight away. But I feel like you will step into a lot of fire focus. This can be someone helping you too. And that chance coming for you, especially if you feel again like you didn't have that chance in the past. It's really coming for you now. And the fool here, you have to really trust as well to take the leap of faith because you don't have all the answers. I feel like Spirit is giving you the courage to take action, to talk to that person, send that email, apply for that job, you know, open your heart, whatever is the situation. And then you take the leap of faith here. Not because you know all the answers, but because the spirit definitely has your back, especially with the full energy. It's like we're really trusting the spirit has your back and you can go, even if you don't know all the answers. So take a leap of faith in the situation, whatever it may be, love, life, career, spirituality, manifestations. The spirit, it's definitely helping you. So I chose this for a reason. I wanted to get some clarifications here from this deck. I thought I had one turn here. Any other information group two needs to know? You see, have faith. No doubt. I really feel like, especially if you are doubting right now, if you have uh, too much worry in your mind, is this really going to work? Can I really try? Should I really even take my leap of faith? And again, I feel like really giving you courage and really trusting 
to take that leap of faith. So have faith here because yes, spirit is guiding you. Spirit has your back. Also see from a different perspective. Many times we see things very negative or worst case scenarios. When the full is going really full and with positivity as well. And trust the divine timing. You see, this could be manifesting because this is the time. And divine time many times with the will of fortune as well. Because if for you maybe you try to manifest or resolve this in the past or for you guys that are having this chance again, this is the time. Maybe it didn't work before because it wasn't meant to be before. Now is the time. Anything else? We also have trust your heart. I really feel like your spirit guides are sending you synchronicity signs for you to really trust your intuition to take this leap of faith. Because again, we don't know all the answers, but I feel like spirit is guiding you, illuminating the path. But it can be one day at a time, one step at a time for you to trust here and having faith along the way. So I really see you manifesting or resolving this, even if it's negative. You'll have the courage to take that action, to talk, to send the message, to apply for the job, for whatever it may be you're trying to manifest or resolve. Or if you're asking about someone here as well, they just need to trust here to take that leap of faith. And it can be you. you really knowing that a spirit has your back along the way, so you don't need to worry too much. Just stay focused on what is working and stay in that gratitude mind frame. I'll leave with this group too. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals in front of you, my own decks like this one and many others, all the links will be there. Like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group three. If you chose the beautiful owl spirit, again, the phrase here is you see clearly now. So it could be really because your spirit guides are sending you guides. It, they are sending you a lot of clarity in your mind. So you will be able to see clearly. Maybe it was hard and you, things were hard to be able to really come easy or foggy right now. A lot of indecisions, too much in your mind or worries, stress. Your spirit guides are helping you to see things clearly. But let's see here confirmations from the tarot and also oracle i'll get tarot and oracle clarifications yes or no for group three we do have the ace of cups look at that offer opportunities and for your career love life for you to open your heart for you to be really happy about this ace of cups opening doors and we do have also the magician you may need to step into your power seven of pentacles be financial just some results and also the six of cups i really see these as opportunities doors hard work payback you recognize you have all the tools in your hands to manifest or resolve these so i really see this as yes for group three and just know that you will have clarity if right now you don't see things that you need to know or to do you know decisions so if it's hard if there's some indecisions stress negativities I feel like your spirit guides are helping you to take back your power. They know as the magician, you have all the tools in your hands to manifest or resolve this. Whatever it may be, love, life, career. We do have hard work payback here with the seven of pentacles. You could have done a lot of hard work and now you will see the result here. And even with the six of cups, many times you really need to resolve something from the past to be able to move forward. And it can be healing, can be a conversation can be resolving something something's coming to the surface here for you to deal with and i feel like trust your intuition to manifest a resolve it can be someone from the past helping you out soulmate energies and i feel like resolving not getting stuck in the past but using the past as a stepping stone for you to evolve and grow and learn what is your lesson what you needed to understand about this i feel like that's why all the clarity of the owl and that intuition that the owl spirit can really bring as well so I really see you having clarity to understand why things are happening the way they are. So you can manifest or resolve this. For anything you need to do, open your heart, trust your intuition, and you have all the tools in your hands to manifest or resolve this. Whether it's in any area of your life, your hard work will pay back. Whatever you put your energy on, whether it's financial or any other area that have put your energies. But also it gives you decisions, doors to open, opportunities to make other decisions here. Let's get all the information from the Oracle as well. What else do you need to know for group three? Make a wish. Look at that. A wish. And it can be you set your intention. Make a wish. Your spirit guides are ready to grant you this wish as well. This could be a wish coming true for some of you. 
So set your intentions, visualize your success. In the meantime, one step at a time. You don't need to rush into anything. Your spirit guides are just helping you to see things clearly and being able to take one step at a time. And I feel like because you're being illuminated as well with this clarity, your spirit guides are making the path clear for you and the light, I feel like it's pointing you into the right direction. So pay attention to synchronicity signs, lucid dreams. Patience is essential as well. So again, one step at a time. You don't need to rush anything. Evaluate where you are and where you want it to go. What do you need to do? One day at a time, one step at a time with patience. Because again, you're being guided. Anything else good? Three. Make the first move. You see here? It's one step at a time, but don't wait. You need to take at least one step at a time. So make the first move here, whether it's sending that message, applying for that job, you know, make that call, whatever it may be, send that text message. What do you need to do? What's holding you back? Spirit is already telling you. We're guiding you. This is the direction. Don't overthink or stress. But it, yes, with patience, one day at a time, you are manifesting or resolving this. I feel like make a wish as well, set intentions and uh, visualize success. And I feel like really trust your intuition because I feel like you're being guided here to take back your power and know, yeah, of course you can manifest or resolve this. That kind of energy is definitely here. And pay attention to the signs because they help you to see things very easily. Whatever it was foggy or difficult to understand, it's going to be a lot of clarity. Yes, to manifest or resolve something for group three for sure. I'll leave with this group three. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals in front of you, my own decks like this one and many others, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group four. If you choose the Canary Spirit, again, the message here is sing your own song. I really feel like this energy of doing what is best for you, you know, being able to trust your intuition. So let's see here, is this yes or no? for group four positive negative questions we do have hierophant six of swords queen of pentacles positive or negative questions we do have the ace of cups i really see this energy of your spirit guides guiding you with the hierophant is Taurus energy here and we do have the Queen of Pentacles for the Earth energies too so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn can be you, someone you're dealing with but you're definitely learning a lesson here I feel like your spirit guides are helping you to really be grounded if you have a lot of stress, overthinking about the situation, negativities your guides are helping you to really trust your intuition you can see with the Ace of Cups and this can be an offer, an opportunity someone opening the heart, you opening your heart healing I really feel like opportunities that you open the doors that they're really happy about. It can be for resolving something in case this is negative. So I do see this as yes for group four. But manifesting or resolving, open your heart, trust your intuition, and being able to learn a lesson. Because the six of swords is a movement. So if you're feeling stuck right now, things are going to move. But it's because you are trusting here to learn the lesson, to take your lessons with you. And it can be calmer waters after a turbulent time. So it could have been a lot of challenging situations right now. So that's why I feel like the spirit guides are trying to help you, to guide you. So connect with him. Have some time for you to meditate or quiet times to connect with your guides as well. You could be sending you a specific person to help you. It can be a, just an advice or conversation that you have that can make a difference here. And if you're asking about someone as well, even if things are slow, there's a lot of love, feelings, opportunities. I feel like sing your own song is the energy of be honest with yourself, whoever's involved there. Grounding yourself, taking care of yourself, being able to take care of others too. But this is a lot of manifestation, abundance too, for financial career. But it's because you're taking care of yourself too. It's a lot of self-love, self-care. So if you want someone in your life as well, if you want to open your heart, if you want to be with this person, self-love, self-care first. And this is for a lot of blessings, financial as well for your career. Grounding yourself, what's best for you. You know, applying for the job here that is resonating with you. Learning the lesson from the past. What didn't work in the past that you need to cut away so this can be manifesting and moving forward here for you. This can be a specific move, you know, like moving houses, moving jobs, but some kind of movement in your life for anything that you felt stuck, like I said. I want to get some clarifications from the Oracle too. 
we also have uh, synchronicities and signs and definitely connected with the Hierophant because Hierophant can be your guides, can be someone that they are sending to cross your path. Synchronicities, signs, repeated numbers, lucid dreams, animals. Pay attention. Maybe you see the canary spirit here and it could be on videos or just the yellow colors my guides are saying. Pay attention to the yellow colors as well. Signs for you. What are you doing when you see the signs? Who are you talking with? Who are you thinking about? Which message are you typing at that moment? Trust the changes. Okay, so it feels like it does come with change. You see with the Six of Swords as a movement. So even if it is, like I said, is a move, like physical move, you know, houses, uh, jobs, or just moving because things are were stuck before, I really feel like trust because it's a good book for you. Moving jobs, moving houses, plan and act. So whatever you needed to do here, if you're planning, you know, many times we stay only on the plan and you don't act. They get the same. Take a chance. You know, really do something. The Six of Swords will help you to evolve here, move forward. So you need to take some chances here too. And also forgive and heal. Look at that. With the Ace of Cups here, no doubt. So forgiveness, healing, forgiving yourself, others, whatever is going on here. Even if this is a yes for negative questions, I see a lot of forgiving, healing, especially with the Ace of Cups, opening hearts, conversations. So anything you need to do, sing your own song. I, see, I feel like really being able to do things that are resonating with you, being honest with yourself, whoever's involved in your life, doing things that are important for you too. And uh, really being able to step into your power too. I do see this as yes for group four. And I really feel like there's some changes along the way, but there are positive changes, no doubt. You open your door here that you're really happy about too. I'll leave with this group four. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals in front of you, my own decks I have created like this one and many others, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group five. If you chose the dove spirit, this message here is be peace. And I feel like this peaceful energy that the dove spirit represents, having peace regarding your decisions here and peace of mind, clarity, anything that uh, you need help here to understand what's the best path for you. So I feel like you'll have peaceful resolutions, whether it's a positive or negative questions. Let's see here. Whatever the situation, nine of pentacles. So we get some clarity from the tarot and oracle cards too. We have the moon. Interesting with the moon and uh, bringing clarity for you the seven of cups and we do have uh, i'll take these two cards starting anyway we do have the five of pentacles and the three of wands okay i really see a lot of hard work there are many things you're doing yourself you know group five that maybe you feel like only you can do anyway but I really see that it will, there's a lot of results. They may be hidden right now. I see that you, you need this peace of mind as well, especially if you are waiting or you don't have all the information with you right now. There's a lot of hard work payback. And many times the Nine of Pentacles is your hard work, you're doing things. And it can be, of course, career finances, but even for your self-love, self-care, healing, your love life, things that you're doing for yourself, you'll see the results because things are coming to the surface. Moon is also Pisces energy, maybe some, someone you're dealing with or yourself, but definitely the healing energy that the moon gives to go deeper on the waters to bring to the surface what's not serving as well. So you can let go and be able to really trust what's the best for you because you have choices here. There are different ways to manifest or resolve these. You have different choices to, to take what is resonating with these choices. Just know that you have different opportunities, choices, but just know that you really need to trust your heart to what's the best for you. Not all the opportunities are the best for you. And trust your heart here, releasing illusions that it has to be perfect, but you definitely have something good coming away. I do see that some of you could be worried. You know, uh, the worry can be for financial specifically, money worries, but it can be the worry of being left out or not resolving these or feeling these negativities. When the solution is right there, 
the solution is so close to you, you may need to look into different directions and be able to see there's a solution for you. Three of Wands is definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. For many of you, you have been through some challenging situations and there has been a hard time, feeling left out, money worries, or just not seeing clearly where is your path here to manifest or resolve this. Maybe this is a negative question I'm saying to you, yes, for this, but you have a way around. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We have different approaches, again, to manifest or resolve this. So trust your guides, your intuition for that. But there's a lot of hard work payback. Okay, so your hard work, if you didn't see results yet, you will see. And I feel like you're going to be happy about it. It's a lot of contentment and being proud of yourself. My guides are saying, you'll be proud of yourself, of your hard work. Let me get some clarity from the Oracle as well. We also have resolutions are near. Look at that, near. That's it with the five of... Uh, pentacles the solutions are right there sometimes you just need to look maybe a different person uh, asking you or advising you pause and recharge if you if you have to because so many of you are going through the emotions and being stressful and doing many things at the same time when your spirit guides are saying pause recharge connect with your guides knowing what's the best what is resonating with your heart and many times when we are busy and going through the emotions of things we don't see let your spirit guides are saying pause recharge so you, you know What's the best for you? And be at peace as well. What is resonating with your heart, you'll feel peaceful. If it's not resonating with your heart, you will definitely not feel that way. Your intuition is right. Okay, so definitely right. Always trust your intuition. It's guiding you on the right direction. Your spirit guides will send you the signs so your intuition is resonating and you know that's the right path. Also, honesty and communication. So that's it. Free to manifest, resolve this. You have to be honest with yourself, whoever's involved there. But I really see you being able to manifest and resolve. Even at the end of the deck, we have manifestation and blessings. So I really feel like because your guides are helping you to see what is the best for you, the best direction. And the ones that are resonating with your heart, you feel peaceful. What is not, you will know that it's not the best for you. So yes to manifest or resolve something. Can be yes for someone. Remember about different areas of your life, you have choices as well. So keep trusting. The ones that are resonating are the right path for you. More things will come to the surface. I feel like to have you being really clear about everything for you, but no doubt a lot of hard work payback, resolutions are near, and there's a lot of manifestation blessings coming with this. Yes, to manifest or resolve something for group five. I'll leave with this group five. I hope this helps out resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals in front of you, my own decks like this one and many others, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.